let's take a few minutes to go over the parts that make up the W123 chassis Mercedes SLS suspension system. All right, so up at the front of the car, you're gonna have tank and the pump. So pump runs off the engine, pulls fluid from the tank, pressurizes it, and sends it to the back. That's the basic function. Uh, return fluid comes back from the pump and goes back into the tank. So tank is gonna have a uh, feed from the pump and it's a hose you can see it down there that goes to the pump pump pulls it and then it sends pressure and that pressure line yeah can't really see it but we'll see it in the back of the car there's a pressure line that runs to the back of the car and like I said a return line that comes back from the car so just real quick, one way to see if your pump's working, you can undo this while the car's running and there's a filter in here. And you can look and see the filter is on the return. So you should see fluid coming from, coming out of that filter. Uh, there's no filter on the suction side, it filters on the return. So, I mean, there may be a screen or something, I haven't looked, but the main filter is on the return line and you should see fluid, like I said, with the engine running, you should see fluid coming out of the um, filter. And then you have a little fill right here with a little dipstick. So, that's pretty much it for the front side. Uh, the pump, failures on it, uh, they can leak uh, engine oil into the pump. And when they do that, you'll get engine oil, you know, sludgy engine oil in your fluid. Just because your fluid's black, though, doesn't mean it's got engine oil in it. This fluid, uh, it's never changed out. It can get pretty dark. So uh, if it's black, doesn't mean it's engine oil, but it could be. So they can the seals can leak and cause the engine oil issue or you know they can just fail and not pump so if they're returning fluid chances are the pump is probably fine uh you know you check your hoses as well that's a failure point you know just look for leaks there uh, if there's no leaks then hoses are probably fine and uh and of course if you're servicing the system go ahead and change that filter out uh, as far as changing fluid out, you know, you can suction the fluid out of the tank here and, you know, put some new uh, Mercedes recommended SLS fluid in it. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the description to some. There's a couple different ones that they recommend, uh, different manufacturers that's approved. So let's move to the back of the car. I'm going to put it up on some ramps and we can uh, get a better look at what's at the back because most of the systems back there. And we're at the back of the car where most of the SLS magic happens. And what you have back here is inside that cool spring there, you have the strut. The you know, strut's going to be what, you know, raises the car up and down. Well, it's what does the physical raising. Uh, it gets a signal from the lever here, the valve. That and there's a lever on the valve right there that goes up and down with the suspension so the uh, lever itself is tied to the uh, looks like torsion bar there's a torsion bar back here some kind of a may not be actual torsion bar but it's a it's basically a lever that the it may act as a torsion bar it kind of looks like a torsion bar but the 
the top part of the lever rides on that and then uh, and that goes up and down with the suspension so that controls the ride height and so this adjustment on this lever can control the ride height so uh, if your system's working but the ride height's incorrect then the adjustment may just be off now once you're back here you can start looking for leaks and that's one way to tell where you have an issue but a leak may not be the issue you know you may have an issue that doesn't have a leak so how do you find those well i guess first i didn't mention whatever one other thing and you have the accumulator there it's that tank that black tank looking thing and it's basically like a diaphragm in there and that's kind of what gives you your ride quality uh think of it kind of as like a damper or you know it it's a I guess you call it like a fluid damper type system so normally if those fail you can take the line that banjo nut off and you can stick from what i've read you can stick a pencil in there and you should feel the um like our you know the spongy rubber diaphragm uh if it goes through and you just have fluid in there, then they're bad, It's my understanding. And normally when they go bad, they give you a harsh ride. So that's normal. The normal failure on those is the, uh, I guess the diaphragm fails and they just fill with fluid and they no longer have that dampening effect. And so you end up with the, uh, you know, it can't give any if it's completely full of hydraulic fluid, so you get a stiff, harsh ride. Over here, you can kind of see our our valve set up with our lines. Inlet and return, and the ones that go to the um, uh, struts. You'll probably see a little better on this side, less going on over here because the exhaust. You can see the accumulator, and then you know it's got a line going from the accumulator to the strut. You see, we've got an inlet as well, so you've got inlet from the valve and then going to the strut that's pretty much the setup there and like i said normally when these fail the accumulators you'll end up with a harsh ride that doesn't mean that if you they're good if you don't have a harsh ride it's probably good if you're going through the system go ahead and just take a look at them i will put a link it's what i read through and it provides all kind of information so it's a troubleshooting guide and it also explains how this system works I'll put a link to that in the description and I'll probably pin it as a comment, as first comment, so that you can, you can go read that guide for yourself. Uh, it was over at, I think it was over at Peach Parts. And the writer of it, you know, he spent a lot of time going through it and writing up, you know, troubleshooting guide and how the system works and all that. It's a really good read. So. Uh, let's talk about the struts for a minute. They normally don't fail. When they do fail, they normally leak. Uh, mine here don't appear to be leaking, so it's a good sign. I don't see any leaks, uh, but my system doesn't work. So let's come back over here to the valve, and that's where I think I have my issue. So I've got a bouncy ride. Uh, it's not raising up. So if we look, you know, the lever's attached. And if we look at the links at the ends of the levers, I looked at the other side, but somewhere over there you should be able to see it. You can't see it real well over here. But, yeah, you can see that link over there. It's at least attached to the top. Um, it should be attached to the bottom too. 
but so just because this valve is not leaking externally doesn't mean it's not leaking internally and i think that's the issue i have it's got a bunch of o-rings inside of it and what can happen is that it'll leak internally and it'll just bypass fluid uh, instead of you know sending fluid to the struts and accumulators it's sending it back to the tank you know it's bypassing internally and i think that's what my issue is and that doesn't mean that once i fix that issue everything's going to be all great uh, we may find other issues once we get the lever working but that's where we're going to start so i'm going to take this thing apart and that'll be in a separate video i'm going to take it off take it apart open it up and replace the o-rings inside of it and there's some other hard parts inside of it that can go bad but for the most part um, normally you can get by with just replacing the o-rings so it's it's a pretty easy cheap <laughs> start i guess to to working on this system and hopefully that's only where your failure is but like i said i've diagnosed that it appears to be a valve issue don't just you know go replace a valve if you know there's not an issue with the valve you know diagnose the issue you read through that diagram or that that article and it'll help you diagnose your issue but mine's not raising up it's sagging uh it's got a spongy ride it's not harsh or anything you know it just kind of feels like you have bad shocks or bad struts um, and so i feel like the struts are not getting fluid the system is not sending fluid to the struts and that points most likely towards a valve issue valve or pump but we see the pumps returning fluid so it appears the pump's good so let's um in this for here and i'll uh like i said i'll put a link to the article take a good read at that it's very informative it will tell you everything you need to know about the system and how to troubleshoot it you know you can take your symptoms and you can look at that article and it'll help you get a starting point on how to fix your system because it's a good system and to be honest it's fairly simple you know you've got the the lever well the lever on the valve the valve itself the rod that the lever hooks up to i guess you're going to consider that part you've got the accumulators one on each side you've got the struts you've got the lines you know, all these lines that run to everything and you've got your rubber lines going to the struts and of course your lines going all the way two lines going up towards the front you know the uh, suction and return and then you have your pump, your tank, your filter, and of course the hoses, you know, going from the tank to the filter to the, or yeah, uh, hose coming from the, anyway, you got hoses, hoses and lines, you know, rubber hoses and metal hard lines. Normally, I mean, they're gonna leak if they're bad. And then your pump, tank, and the parts we talked about back here. Pretty simple. Don't let it overwhelm you. Um, read that article. Feel free to ask questions. I'm not an expert here, but I've done a lot of reading and um, You know, it doesn't seem to be too complicated. So in the future, I'm going to pull this valve off 
and go through it and hopefully that'll fix the issues I'm having with the SLS. I think it will. We may discover new issues after we get it working. I'm pretty sure the valves failed though. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.